Chapter 19 The second lot came out for the tribe of Simeon, according to its clans. Their inheritance lay within the territory of Judah. It included Beersheba, or Sheba, Moleda, Hazar Shual, Bala, Ezem, Eltolad, Bethul, Horma, Ziklag, Beth Markaboth, Hazar Susa, Beth Lebaoth, and Sheruhen, thirteen towns and their villages. Ayan, Rimon, Ether, and Ashan, four towns and their villages. And all the villages around these towns, as far as Baalath Be'er, Ramah in the Negev. This was the inheritance of the tribe of the Simeonites, according to its clans. The inheritance of the Simeonites was taken from the share of Judah, because Judah's portion was more than they needed. So the Simeonites received their inheritance within the territory of Judah. The third lot came up for Zebulun, according to its clans. The boundary of their inheritance went as far as Sarid. Going west, it ran to Merela, touched Dabasheth, and extended to the ravine near Jokneam. It turned east from Sarid, toward the sunrise, to the territory of Kisloth-Tabor, and went on to Dabarath and up to Japhia. Then it continued eastward to Gath-Hefer and eth -Kazin. It came out at Rimon and turned toward Nia. There the boundary went around on the north to Hanathon and ended at the valley of Ifta-El. Included were Katath, Nahalal, Shimron, Edela, and Bethlehem. There were twelve towns and their villages. These towns and their villages were the inheritance of Zebulun, according to its clans. The fourth lot came out for Issachar, according to its clans. Their territory included Jezreel, Kesuloth, Shunem, Hapharaim, Shion, Anaharath, Rabbith, Kishion, Ebez, Remeth, and Ganim, and Hada, and Beth Pazes. The boundary touched Tabor, Shehazuma, and Beth Shemesh, and ended at the Jordan. There were sixteen towns and their villages. These towns and their villages were the inheritance of the tribe of Issachar, according to its clans. The fifth lot came out for the tribe of Asher, according to its clans. Their territory included Helkath, Halai, Beten, Akshaph, Alamelech, Ahmad, and Mishal. On the west, the boundary touched Carmel and Shihor Libnath. It then turned east toward Beth Dagon, touched Zebulun and the valley of Iftael, and went north to Beth Emek and Neiel, passing Kabul on the left. It went to Abdon, Rehob, Hamon, and Cana, as far as Greater Sidon. The boundary then turned back toward Ramah and went to the fortified city of Tyre, turned toward Hosa and came out at the Mediterranean Sea in the region of Akzib, Yuma, Aphek, and Rehob. There were twenty-two towns and their villages. These towns and their villages were the inheritance of the tribe of Asher, according to its clans. The sixth lot came out for Naphtali, according to its clans. Their boundary went from Helef and the large tree at Zayananim, passing Edemai Nekeb and Jabniel, to Lakum and ending at the Jordan. The boundary ran west through Asnoth Tabor and came out at Hukok. It touched Zebulun on the south, Asher on the west, and the Jordan on the east. The fortified towns were Zedim, Zur, Hamath, Rakath, Kinnereth, Adema, Ramah, Hazor, Kedesh, Edrei, and Hazor, Iron, Migdal El, Horem, Beth Anath, and Beth Shemesh. There were nineteen towns and their villages. These towns and their villages were the inheritance of the tribe of Naphtali, according to its clans. The seventh lot came out for the tribe of Dan, according to its clans. The territory of their inheritance included Zora, Eshtaol, Ur Shemesh, Sheolaban, Ijalon, Ithla, Elon, Timnah, Ekron, Eltika, Gibbethon, Baalath, Jehud, Bnei Barak, Gath Rimon, Mejarkon, and Rakon, with the area facing Joppa. When the territory of the Danites was lost to them, they went up and attacked Leshem, took it, put it to the sword, and occupied it. They settled in Leshem and named it Dan after their ancestor. These towns and their villages were the inheritance of the tribe of Dan, 
according to its clans. When they had finished dividing the land into its allotted portions, the Israelites gave Joshua, son of Nun, an inheritance among them, as the Lord had commanded. They gave him the town he asked for, timnath Sirah, in the hill country of Ephraim. And he built up the town and settled there. These are the territories that Eleazar the priest, Joshua son of Nun, and the heads of the tribal clans of Israel, assigned by Lot at Shiloh in the presence of the Lord at the entrance to the tent of meeting. And so they finished dividing the land.